two other uh, efforts going on with the MQAB. One is weaponization uh, for what we call a rapid deployment capability, uh, and it's going along very well. We're looking at doing uh, safe separation uh, later this summer off of an MQAB. The intent of weaponization is that we'll be installing uh, APKWS, the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, uh, on board the MQAB. Uh, the configuration will be a pylon on each side of the air vehicle with a total of six weapons, or three per side. Uh, the intent with that is that uh, we'll go through our initial testing here at, uh, at PAX and be concluding next year in FY13 and looking for our first opportunity to deploy uh, early calendar year 14. Uh, APKWS is a precision weapon system. It's a, based off a, a 2.75 inch rocket, uh, so it is laser guided. Uh, part of the FLIR system that you see down here in the bottom turret, uh, we do include a, a laser, de laser designation capability. So our primary target set is, is looking at, uh, at land-based and also looking at slow-moving maritime targets. Uh, APKWS has been demonstrated against both uh, sea-based and land-based targets today. Uh, both accidents were independent of each other. One occurred in Afghanistan and one occurred off of USS Simpson. Uh, as a result of that, uh, our, uh, our uh, aircraft uh, reporting custodian, the person who actually owns the aircraft, uh, asked the operators to take a pause while we looked at, at what had happened uh, with the air vehicles. Uh, both air vehicles went through a very extensive uh, in engineering investigation, uh, and uh, we had uh, a primary finding of uh, a default that we, uh, we believe occurred within a navigation system uh, in Afghanistan, and we believe we also had a fault occur within our, our UCARS, or, which is a UAS Common Aircraft Recovery System, uh, which was on board USS Simpson. Uh, since what was that, the fault on the USS Simpson? had to do with our, a UCARS system. What is that? That's what I was trying to... It is the Unmanned Air System Common Aircraft Recovery System. Uh, we surmise that our navigators uh, had a fault within them. Um, and as part of that and loss of barometric altitude, which was part of that navigation failure, uh, the aircraft entered into it and departed flight. Seeing just a rapid growth and finding out what they can and they can't do. So we might be seeing a little bit more in VTUAV uh, than in some of the fixed wings. Uh, but what, what started out very shortly, and you probably know the history better than I do, of we're just going to do ISR, we included you know, additional payloads on them, and then we finally got into weaponization and, and even doing, uh, now we'll be talking shortly after this brief about cargo. Um, so a lot of this is getting with our operators and trying to understand what is in the, within the realm of the possibility. So that's not only involving the operators as I talk within the, the VTUAB, uh, an air vehicle operator, an AVO, and an MPO, but when we start talking about VTUAV and integrating them on board a littoral combat ship or a frigate or onto a destroyer, it's actually integrated into that additional weapon system also.